The Beard from Metal Gods TV and I'm Black Star Whiskey and you guys rocked last night. I, I, I love the fans and they made it, they made us rock, put it that way. Had a great time, great show, great fans. UK, what can I say, it rocks baby. This is your first time over here, right? Yep, yep first trip um, and hopefully we hook up with uh, possibly Saxon and do some do some shows with them. I was talking with Biff earlier, so that, that's a possibility. Vic's got uh, something coming up in Portugal, in Spain, and yeah, we got a few shows lined up in uh, for this summer. Uh, we'll be doing the end of July, August. We'll be going right through the southern tip of Portugal, all the way to the north. From the north, we'll be traveling to Vigo, Spain, um, and further into the country. Dates yet to be announced, but uh, that's coming up. October Fest will be doing Germany. So that's going to be good. Oktoberfest, boys. Yeah, Oktoberfest. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good. Oktoberfest. That's exactly what it is. And you're plugging the album at the moment, yeah? Yep. Yeah, we got a five-song EP going out, and uh, just putting it in the in the pond and seeing if it, you know, creates any waves. And um, there's a little bit of something for everyone on that record. You got heavy and some hard southern rock, and yeah, there's something for everybody. And so far, do you think you're being well received by everybody? Uh, yeah, everybody's been really nice to us. Uh, the, we had really good crowd response last night. Phenomenal. I dumped a whole bottle of Jack Daniels in everybody's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> right off the bat, and uh, that, that won them over. Yeah. yeah. UK Warmed fans. them up, so to speak. Sorry, UK fans are awesome. They, the, uh, the reception we've had here has been uh, absolutely incredible. We loved coming here and playing, and it's just been a great experience. Have you ever been to anything like this for, like this before? You know, this sort of setup. Not with this band. No, no, no. This is uh, this is really cool. Poor. Um, I heard uh, Scotty Hill from Skid Row yeah. slipped off the stage and broke some ribs last night. All right, I missed that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, no. He actually lives close to me in Florida. You know, I have to I have to send him an email. Hope he's all right, but. Maybe some of their fans came over when he did that, so could have been. Yeah. Could have been. God bless Scotty. God, God bless Scotty. Yeah, yeah. Oh. sure. And your uh, album cover it mentions NASCAR. What is that all about? Well, I wrote a song called Mother Trucker on that, and it's about the life of Junior Johnson, the uh, moonshine NASCAR legend. And uh, he got a hold of it, and he really liked it. He ended up inviting us to his ranch in North Carolina and cooked his food and, and just became a friend, you know? And then uh, he was nice enough to do a voiceover on the beginning of the song. And uh, it's just a keepsake, you know? He's, he's really big in, in the you know, NASCAR industry. Uh, you're not too familiar with NASCAR. No, out here. What, what is the NASCAR thing? It's, it's just racing. Yeah, you know? racing. Yeah. And, it's, and he used to deal moonshine when he was a kid, you know? And he got a reputation for that. You know, Dukes of Hazard, the show? That's based on his life. We're chasing, you know, chasing the cops and, and stuff like that. So it was really an honor to meet him, you know? And it's amazing how music can take you to different places, you know, just by, you know, yeah, that's what it's all about. In your writing process, do you, do you three guys get together, or is it something you write a bit separately and say, oh, look at these cards, this is really good, how do, how do you work? Yeah, well, it starts off in many different ways, there's guitar riffs, there's a lot of things that will trigger it, uh, melodies, Wade's a great writer, I mean, I've been with Wade, known Wade for two decades at least, yeah. and uh, we've done some, some writing in the past, and uh, Again, you cal calibrate with the right people, and uh, you'll you'll get a really good product out for sure. This, this particular record I co-wrote with another guy, and how we did it was he recorded everything, all the music in his studio, and I sh he shipped it to me over the internet, and I recorded my vocals in my studio, and then we mixed it after that. So. It's, it's, it's amazing how you can do stuff over the internet like that, you know, and, and come up with a solid product. And so that's one way of doing it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And what's next on the horizon? I mean, have you got a Christmas break or are you uh, well, carrying on? Yeah, well, we're carrying on uh, big time. We're going to do some, uh, like I said, there's a new record in the bucket that we're going to put out a full length. And then uh, we're going to do some American shows. We're going to hopefully be back here soon. And, and uh, Portugal and Spain and all that. Yeah. Right. UK rocks, oh man. I yeah. love, I love uh, being here. Be I love the UK. <laughs> yeah. I do. The sooner the better. You yeah. people are awesome. That's one thing about the UK fans. They supported heavy metal and hard rock throughout 
the ups and downs of the industry. You know, it's always, and that's what I love about you guys. You know, it's fantastic. You feel like nothing gets left behind. Like you can come up with some new music, and and you'll have the Iron Maiden still there. You'll have the Saxons, and and it's amazing to see that. And then they welcome the new, and that's what we love, right? Yeah. Like they they have they keep it alive very much so. Very much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody says it's the birthplace of heavy metal, anyway, the UK. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Starting with Black Sabbath, right? You know, yeah. I mean, that's where it all started, as far as I'm concerned. I feel like boring. Yeah. Yeah. Ozzy, really boring. Yeah. Ozzy dragging his shoe around by a string, his pet shoe. That was the story I heard. He looked like a weirdo walking around with his pet shoe. What would you like to see in the future for you guys? I mean, would, would you like to be? Who would you like to tour with, basically? Oh, I, I love to tour with like any, you know, Saxon, uh, Godsmack, you know, bands that just have that attitude and, and just good solid, you know, rock and roll. You know, I, I, I just like aggression. I like attitude bands that, that you know lay it down. So anyone like that, I love to tour with. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. Have you guys got any interests outside of metal? No, I'm not doing no uh, crossover country hootie in the blowfish. <laughs> Sorry, I ain't gonna have. Uh, you could ask these guys. I don't know. Uh, no, not so much. I'm definitely, uh, definitely a rocker by heart. Yeah. No. Yeah, rock and roll for me. I love picking up the Les Paul and just kicking back. And uh, nothing's going on. I, I stay at home. I do some writing. And um, there's this thing on. Um, on uh, Mac, it's called Garage Band, and uh, Grant's been introducing me to that. That'll keep me busy for the next little while. I'm sure. Yeah. Doing some writing. Yeah. It's basically yeah, rock and roll, man. I yeah. love blues, though. Yeah. Yeah, I love rhythm and blues, and I might do a blues record one day, probably in a couple years. Yeah, yeah sure. And that's the, pro pro uh, the natural progression for an old rock star is to play, do a blues album. Slow match. down a little bit when things start sagging. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Targets a little lower. The fingers get. But you know, a I mean, slower. you look at a band like uh, Lemmy from Motorhead, right? Yeah. And that's that's hard-driven uh, rhythm and blues. That's heavy metal rhythm and blues. Yeah. And, and I love that. You yeah. know, I love the tour with Motorhead too. By the way, put yeah. that out there. Yeah, oh yeah. There <laughs> you go. Well, I mean, Gar Gary Moore sort of went away from the metal scene and went into the blues scene in his late later career. Right. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I spoke to him yesterday. Uh, Vinnie Moore, you talking about? Yes. No, Gary Moore. Oh, Gary, Gary Moore. Moore. I thought I heard Vinnie Moore. Vinnie Moore is from UFO, and, and he, he's a great guitar player. I spoke to him yesterday and uh, had a few things. We're going to exchange some emails and see what comes up with that. Yeah, great great fella. Like, I mean, he's. I grew up, I've grown up. I'm a little younger than him, but, you know, growing up, I listened to, to Vinnie play, and, you know, I, I guess I could, yeah, phenomenal yeah. guitar. But I could Absolutely. say he was, he was definitely an influence on, on my styles. and. Um, and, and again, down to earth, and, and I think being in the UK brings that out in everybody. So. Absolutely. Very well, very well. Yeah. Have you guys come, ever uh, come across any of your heroes while you've been touring and you think, oh, God, I finally met him, you know? I have. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Vince Neil was actually, a, a, you know, ever since a kid, you know, you growing up the image and everything, it was like, wow, you know. But when I met him, I have to say I was a little bit disappointed, you know. He wasn't as... Uh, you know, friendly and as accessible as I thought he would be. You know, but I was I was sporting him on his uh, charity cruise, and you know, and um, I, I feel sorry for the guy actually. You know, he's got a he's got a, I think a problem with drinking, and you know, plus uh, what happened to his daughter has really hung on his on his back all these years. So. Yeah. I wish him the best. I uh, met a couple of the guys from uh, Canadian band Rush. Great, great guys. Yeah, Getty Lee and Alex Lifeson shared an elevator with them one day. So, uh, and it was a nice slow ride to a very tall floor, so it was very good. Very humble guys. Very good. Nice guys, so. And have you got a final message that you'd like to give to the UK audience out there? Well, we're going to be back, and, and we appreciate you as much as you appreciate all new rock and roll and heavy metal. So, just so you know. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity very of much having us here. Peace, the wonderful. Yeah. Black Star Whiskey coming at you 2011. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Nick. It's been a pleasure.